Hi everyone, so today I'm making their video for you uh, with their coloring process of illustration. So for my illustration I'm using the Bristol paper, uh, the A5 uh, size. For, the, for my illustration I've chosen their Japanese ramen in very cute and illustrative style. For coloring, I'm using the color markers, the Korean brand Touch Soft Head markers. They are very useful for beginners and also for advanced level as well. Uh, for outline, I'm using very simple liners with different thickness. So uh, the whole process I will I will record in a speed video in time time lapse video. And if you have any questions, you can write your comments and I will answer you. So let's start. Hi, so we finished with our coloring and now we need to make the kind of black outlining to make this illustration looks more like illustration, right? So uh, as you can see, I just put the main colors on the paper and uh, I actually I was if you watch the video carefully you could notice that I was using uh, many uh, very light transparent colors uh, you can buy these color markers as well they are very useful to make um, like uh, this blending effect so uh, for example if you have the very dark color and you want to have like the um, the effect that this color is uh, goes to another color you can use the very light um, marker to make the blending so this is kind of technique which is very useful for any kind of illustration so um uh, we have all their shades, tones put already here. So now we need to put some more uh, outlining. So uh, I prefer to use the uh, more thick liner for that uh, because uh, look here uh, for all outer lines and uh, like uh, we need to use the more thick one. For all kind of uh, shadows uh, we uh, use the very thin one. So uh, let's start it. Uh, I will start with the more uh, the bigger elements and we'll finish with the smaller. So I want to start with this cute Daruma which is going out of the our ramen noodles. So for the Daruma you need to carefully do the outlining. Don't worry if you cannot do the one line at once because you can always fix it and if you have any kind of mistakes made by marker you can always use more thin marker to make some shadows. In this case it doesn't matter. So we have the Daruma already made and uh, for the our inner like the your inside like your body we can use the very thin liner like zero like zero one to finish the daruma inside so here please just make very light lines with your hand don't press the liner too much because it's just there are uh, fact we don't need to uh, make any focus on any details it's just the effect so you, you can see right where i did the mistake with the first liner i'm putting this kind of small lines to show this is like the shadow shading part so i will do the kind of speed video with the whole daruma and after i will show you the final result okay
so I finished my ramen illustration and I hope you enjoyed the video if you want to ask me any questions please write your comments and put your likes and if you want me to draw something else please let me know as well so this is my ramen and I hope you enjoy it thank you for your attention